Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So, I'm kind of halfway in the new reading space. It's going to be over in the dark corner where um, the former domestic partner's pile of stuff still is that he needs to get out of my house. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. Um, all things in time. All things in time. <sighs> Hopefully within the next week. <laughs> Things will, at the very least, be out of the way and put where they belong or where they should logically go, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, we're not talking about me. Aquarius! We're talking about you, friends. It is time for your November round two reading. So let's hop right into it. It's going to be your for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2021. If it resonates with you, cool your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all your journey not mine just turn down cards if it doesn't resonate that's okay too check your moon rising or venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid and all things can be vice versa might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our difference of cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table everybody's always welcome at my table appreciate everybody stopping by if you're new here think we might vibe we might get along you want to hit the subscribe button the notification bell that'd be super cool if you're returning thanks for coming back i missed you <laughs> hit the like button at any time it all helps the channel it all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the message so without further ado two more quick things one never make a life following decision based on a tarot reading i don't care whose cards they are they're mine or somebody else's. And two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, not making sense in your life, if it just does not fit, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It was not meant for you. Here we go. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2021. Thanks for coming out and coming down and hanging out with me one more time today. I appreciate you and I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given and I ask that you help me use it to bring Aquarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. King of Wands reversed. Soulmate moving. Okay, well. Ten of Cups. All right. No wonder that looked weird. Hmm. What the hell, Aquarius? Okay, now I got a lot of questions. Seems to me something isn't moving because there's no communication right now. I see in the past a decision was made. There's forward moving coming in the future, but it's all happening due to a death cycle of some kind. Possibly something you were hang hung up on for a little while. Maybe something wasn't equal, even, or balanced with the Six of Pentacles reverse. It wasn't equal give and take. So why the hell were you hung up on it? 
why are you still hung up on it? You know I have a ton of questions. Why do I got to do this to me? Outcome, ten of wands, upright, make a break, seven of pentacles reversed. Patience, deciding that you're not going to invest your time into it, deciding what you are and aren't going to invest time into. Maintaining patience, possibly. Huh. All right. All right. Short and sweet and to the point as possible. This is Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the challenge. Why would the family be the challenge? Happiness, happiness, happiness. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Why the Ten of Cups? It didn't flip. That's the take it or leave it moment. It didn't flip. It wanted to. It started to, but it didn't. It wants. It hit the floor. It's important. Family intervention. Emotional manipulation. Fast intervention. That feels like somebody coming in being like, whoa. Really? <laughs> That's what that feels like to me. Okay. One of the two of swords. Son had to make the choice. What was going to be happy, happiness? What was for your highest good? Making a decision with clarity in regards to Eight of Pentacles, what you should and should not be to putting time into. I don't like the. Okay, family or people you're close to, people you're the happiest around, came in and pulled puppet strings on this in a quick hurry. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? Why the Knight of Cups reversed? Seven of Pentacles. There's no communication. Possibly you're waiting on communication. Three of Swords kind of breaking your heart. Maybe you're investing time and energy and it's just leading to heartbreak because you're only talking. Putting your time and energy in elsewhere and you're not talking and it's heartbreaking. You made a decision with clarity. It was what to invest your time into. It was going to make you the happiest. Strength, you're holding back. You're holding back communication. It's killing you. Why are you doing it? Not a cup reversed, not a cup reversed. Okay, you're just not doing it. You're just withholding the cup. All right. Before I address that and that, why is it all happening? One on death. 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 Why death? Why death? Why death? judgment, making a final judgment call, allowing something to end and new things to begin. Resurrection could be resurrection. Could be. Oh shit. 
Shadow side and the Knight of Wands. Mm, that'd put something to a dead stop. Somebody may have been a player. Somebody may have been toxic. You did this before. That's why the family's pulling puppet strings. You went through this before already. Sometimes family intervening isn't a bad thing. Sometimes... This is information. This is communication. This is the stopping or the not manifesting. This is a you're not doing this again. And here's why. This is the information they told you. Possibly someone caught wind that somebody was messing around. Party boy. Somebody's engaging in toxic activities. Possibly. Why the Six of Pentacles reversed? Why the Six of Pentacles reversed? These cups reversed. Little Fortune reversed. Here's the hard part about this. Um, you were meant to do this. This was meant to be. Wheel of Fortune in the upright and the re or in the reverse, it is still a card of destiny. You were meant to go through this again. Sometimes when we don't learn a lesson the first time around with someone, sometimes they come back. It's kind of like a Stephen King movie. Oh, okay. Sometimes we have to relearn our lessons about people not filling our cups. And sometimes there are hard lessons to relearn. Why the hanged man? The one on the hanged man. I was really hoping for short, sweet, and to the point. Three of Cups. You were so, so hung up on making this resurrection work. And you were so hung up on trying to reunite. It just... You wanted it so bad. I think part of you still does. That's why this is heartbreaking. I don't know if this was family intervening or just close friends, people you're close to, but somebody intervened. Somebody put a stop to it. Or somebody told you to put a stop to it or highly suggested that you put a stop to it and you listened. You took the action to do what is best for you with the amount of clarity that you had. It's killing you, but you're doing it. Why is the page of wands here? One on the page of wands. Hi, hit the floor, must be important. Death reversed. Oh, Jesus, here we go. <sighs> Ten of swords. Seven of swords. I'm putting an end to it. Knight of swords, page of swords. Could be, could be a similar situation. Doesn't even have to be the same person coming back. Could be a similar situation. Ten of swords, seven of swords, death reverse. You if it comes up again, which I'm feeling like it may, same person even for some of you, you're just going to be like, no. <laughs> no. No. You can't have your swords back, sir, no. I'm not doing this over again. I'm putting this to an end. The conclusion is the Ten of Wands. The conclusion is... Knowing this is burdensome at the very least, what do you do? And no, 
Knowing it's a burden, acknowledging that it's a burden, no longer putting energy into it. No longer investing in it. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Thank you. The lovers. Acknowledge that it is a connection. Yes, the connection is there. It's on the floor. This is important. Oh, jeez. Not doing anything about it, though. Two cups reversed. Queen of Wands. Aquarius. Know what you want and know what you deserve. She goes after what she wants and what she deserves. And what she wants and what she deserves comes to her. Know what you want. Know what you deserve. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, strings in the reverse. If you know it's imbalanced, don't trust it. The world and the four of wands reversed. Let it end. Allow for new cycles to begin. If you know something's not going to be built on a steady foundation. If you know it's going to crumble, just let it end. Let the tower fall, baby! Mm. The Hierophant and the Emperor. Better things are coming for you. More stable things are coming for you. But with that, if you want it to come... You have to learn the lesson that you are being taught. And something tells me this one was a painful one. It looks like you learned the lesson in the end. It looks like in the end you learned the lesson. The lesson of what should I be investing my time into? What do I put my energy into? Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Also a... Know what you want. Know what you deserve. But watch who you give your cup to. She deserves to have her cup filled. Okay. Aquarius. I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. I will catch you guys again in a couple of weeks for November round two. Until then, peace, love, and light. Know that you're loved and be blessed.